What's up everybody, Captain Jack here with another game that I've actually played a little bit of several times. But I still love it. Another alien game, Alien Isolation. Now one thing I love about this game is if anybody remembers my Colonial Marines playthrough, I had nothing but praise for that game, despite what a lot of people like to say about it. My only real... I don't know, I guess concern for that game was that while the aliens were numerous, they weren't exactly scary. It, all they really had was the numbers advantage. Isolation is a little different, as it's technically a horror game, and there is only one alien hunting you down the entire game. Well, most of the game. And it's actually genuinely scary. And I don't mean that to say as in it it's scary like the first maybe two times you play it. Every time I've played it, it's still been scary. So I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy this game too. We're going to bounce right into getting the pants scared off of us. We're gonna do it on medium. Yes. We're gonna go with that. The little hint screens are nice. I love those. Oh shush. Movie time. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Yay! For those who don't know, that was Sigourney Weaver, who played Ellen Ripley in the first four Alien movies. That was her log from the final part of the first movie. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. Yeah, I go back to work too. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. 
I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Don't do it, Ripley. Don't do it. She did it. She had to do it, otherwise there wouldn't be a game. This would be a really short video. Okay, again, for those who don't know, that is Amanda Ripley, who was Ellen Ripley's daughter, which they kind of showcased a little bit in the second movie, uh, more so in a deleted scene from the second movie, which I will link to in the description. Uh, so this game actually takes place between Alien, the movie, and Aliens, the sequel. Oh, let's sign in here. A. Ripley. Well, technically we are A. Ripley. Look around, check all the stuff. There is crafting in this game. You get blueprints and stuff. Close all those. There we go. It's better. Oh, cute little sumo. Hi, little sumo. Oh, God, what the uh, feedback? Okay, I won't go over there. Oh, there it is. I thought I heard a camera. What the fuck are you staring? You were looking way low. Be looking at me like that. More stuff. Search all the lockers. Every time you find if you ever play this game, that's my first rule. Always search the lockers. Every single one. Uh, for Lane, you're on the lookout for a navigational officer. A friend that's just lost his ship. He's looking for work. He can vouch. He's got good papers. Same old story. Megacore's undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts getting harder to come by. For the uh, fuck, reading. We'll try to leave that out there for you guys who actually enjoy reading. I've already read all this, so kind of know what's going on. Sort of, I guess, would be the best way to put that. Put my clothes on before I catch cold. There we go. All nice and dressed. Hey, another look. Give me your stuff. Save game. I love the mechanic of this because it does that. That right there. That little. That little gap between when you insert the key and when you actually get the menu because it means that you can, in fact, be killed while trying to save your game. So even saving isn't safe. If you remember my Resident Evils, there was always room for that, and now there's no safe haven. Okay, so I'm dressed. I'm gonna go see the other people who came with us. See what they have to say. I always loved the way the ships looked in the old alien movies. They didn't look clean. They were cluttered and Kinda cool. Bunch of things poking out. Hey, there he is. Hi, Samuels. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I know. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. 
A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Let's go do that. Right now. Alright, so we spoke to Samuels. Now we gotta go talk to Taylor. Where's our WY exec who came with us? There she is. Found her. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Boy, somebody Sorry. woke up on the wrong side of the tube. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I bet it will. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I did. He sent me in here to find you. And then I did that too. To the bridge, approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. God? I'm just gonna search for more stuff first. Because that is a thing that I can do. Oh, yeah, another one of these mod computer things. Oh, this is meant for Taylor. The girl we were just talking to. It does provide a little backstory. 2122. And it's 15 years after that. So, 2137. So, you wonder how old Amanda is. <laughs> number of decks, two, number of, there's no, ship only has two decks, but the M-classes were huge, didn't know that, alright, I'm coming, get your panties Hope in you a wad, you all had a restful journey, the Torrance Maybe. is in very good order for an old M-class captain, she was a wreck when I bought her, took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit, she pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can no. watch the approach on the monitors. Take that. <gasps> Move it down. See, that's a big airship. Just Can we decks. see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. You know, if you guys just went around to the Is front, you would have seen it better. It looks like damage. There's a big ass Punch up 74. Right Tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Can we Say maybe again? clean that audio up a little bit? Bad things happening over there. Damn, it's a big ass station. 
The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Mm, Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Space. Fuck happened here? My Don't God, worry, you're gonna get the find out. You're doing good, Tim. Just keep moving. Bye, guys. Samuels! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Why well, it's not good. Okay. Explosions on a space station, never a good thing. And now we're on station. Yay us. So I will try not to talk too much through the movie so that you guys get all the, the story. Because it's a really good storyline for this game. So I, I will try to keep that down to a minimum during the, during the cutscenes. <laughs> Out of this bulky space suit. Much better. Yeah. You can save me again. Just for the record, you're going to see me doing this a lot. Because there are parts in the game where there's not quite so many of them. Sometimes it's a long way back. Oh. Warning. Sebastopol stability compromised. Proceed no shit! To the nearest Marshall checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign. I'm pretty sure the structural integrity of the station is way compromised at this point. I'm not going that way. Climb in here. Oh look, somebody lit this for us. Never mind. Hello darkness, my old friend. Another tip for you guys you might play this game later on, always check the little nooks and crannies because sometimes they hide shit in there. Hey, blasting cap. And another terminal. Sebastolink, an LM Link product. <laughs> So they were decommissioning the station. Oh, 
Well, that's good. That's always good. That means that shit's gonna be a mess in here. I swear to God, we can't catch a break. <laughs> Explosions and falling and... I swear if the damn alien doesn't kill us, the station will. God damn. Give me that. This will help. And there we go. Now we can see. Could you stop shaking, maybe? That would be lovely. Drop this down. And then we're gonna go in here real quick. See if they hit anything back here. Idiot scrap and box with stuff. I always like to get this stuff early on just because then I've got a craft ton of it when I can start making stuff. Always good to be a little ahead of yourself. Put that right there. Going up. Oh, hey, look! Put a flare down and then give you another one. Oh, I hate this station. Hey, another flare. Giving me all kinds of shit. This is what Sevastopol looks like. Hard to see it in the dark. We should go power up the lights so I can showcase it better. Grab a map. Also, that nice little beeping noise is these things. That way you always know when you're in a room with one. So at least they gave you a little heads up, like, hey, here I am, come stick your card in me. And push, and power in here. And yes, even though I won't always read what's in these terminals. I will try to check every one because sometimes what you need zero three four zero okay can be found inside. Sometimes it's code, sometimes it's a thing to do. I'm going, I'm going Okay bye. You definitely want to always check them. Even if you don't want to read what's in them. This is where we are. On the station. Check where they came from. Yeah! And we're going to check where they went. Oh, it was empty. Now we're gonna check his room down here. This is that room that that coat was for. Zero, three, four, zero. Ha! I can go anywhere. I'm gonna take that. And this. See what I mean about crafting? Now I can make stuff. I'm going to go ahead and make as many of those as I have the components to make. 
Another little tip, if you commit a component, even if you can't craft the device, it takes it out of your inventory. That way you can pick up another one of said components if you're full. See, let me, oh it does, I can make a third one. So now I have three med kits and two flares. Give me that. We're already off to a really good start. I'm sure some of you guys are already typing in the comments, Jack, if you've already played this game and know what you're doing, isn't the fact that you're so well off already going to be detrimental to the enjoyment? No. I can assure all of you at home who are watching this video right now, I am trying to talk to my public. Could you please shut up? Maybe. But as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Being so well off early on means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Because once shit really hits the fan, you're going to be in a world of hurt really quick. That's why it's a good thing to be. What the hell happened here? Look at that planet. All them stars. You know our friend Colin would love to see this kind of shit. Help. Wait slide to us. Open it. No entry. Well, no shit. I have to cut that open first, dumbass. I'm not sure what some of this spray graffiti is. I think some people were just spray painting shit for the sake of spray painting shit. That's where I need to go, so we're going to go up these stairs. You're not supposed to be here yet. So what made that noise? Accidentally lure it out too early, can I? Hey, it's our ship. The tourists. Hi, Verlaine. I'm here. I'm right here. Verlaine. Somebody close the doors. Everything on this station is so loud. We ain't getting in there yet. Cred op amusements. Hey, another flare. So now we have three of each of those. Gonna power this up. Move along my merry way. There's an awful lot of noise going on in this locked room. What's going on? Finally, the Jedi of Six Suites, named to honor the founder of the Sikhs Incorporation, 
houses the workers and families living on Sebastopol. Rui Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sebastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. You are. Ha <laughs> ha you didn't think I saw you. Give me that sensor. Tell me your secrets. Ooh, somebody got fired. Who cares what Apollo is? Well, maybe some of you guys do. Told you, you guys are going to see this a lot. You're going to become very familiar with this call box. Going to insert my data every time I see one. Open says me. Station, settle your shit. Climb out of the hole. This whole damn place is falling apart. I always check my surroundings whenever I come out of there. Any one of those holes. Get out of the way, robot. Scrap. Make more things. <coughs> it is a little dusty. I bet my allergies will be going shit too. <laughs> that was a person. Gonna catch that person? Come back here, person. Where did you go? Are you hiding stuff in that corner? No. God dang it. Stepping on bodies. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. <laughs> no, before you put it in the comments, I'm not unaware of where things are it's just item placement is randomized for a lot of things so you have to check everywhere even after you've played the game a couple of times because they're not going to put everything in the same spot I have played this game and started finding flamethrower fuel really early on Come in here now and look for most shit. No shit. Okay. Only one thing on this station that makes that particular screech. Just in case, we're going to be very careful about that. They need torches and the doodad tool.
station could please quit making so much noise. It is difficult, it is difficult to listen for things that might try to kill me. Just step on your bodies. Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just fitting the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creaking. Just hurry the fuck up, will you? No. Guess what, guys? And clunk. That does make a hefty noise when you stick that in there. For as fragile as it looks. What is in here? Reverse, it's Turner. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. I Have need one of those. In. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. So you threw him in an evidence lockup? This thing's counterproductive. Oh, there he is. Oh, fuck. Need that shiny thing that you have. But first, I'm gonna check this room for stuff, things. Seeing any shinies. We're gonna go ahead and go through the butthole port. This morning. You get that? My complaint is this. My fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on the station with us and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified. Man. Fucking. He was dying when he recorded that message. I'm sorry, dude. Gotta go open more doors. Um, excuse me? Music? Could you not? Just shitty lock. Well, that's all I gotta do to break it. Oh yeah, I'll take that. That. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist. Maybe. Look. If you can't even tell me your name, we're going to be here a hell of a long time. I just want to know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's going to be accountable. I'm going to make damn sure You're someone's that. accountable. Seriously. No? I'll get shit off. Okay, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Oh, they beat him. They beat him hard. We're not going to go open the main door yet because I saw one of those braces on a door in here. We're going to go open that door. Too many of you to walk around. It's going to step on you.
Better not be in here, motherfucker. I'm gonna be mad. There it is. I'm just gonna open this. Something is making a lot of noise. Yay, more scrap! More scrap and another sensor. Hello? Person? Thing? Whatever? No? No? Okay. I'm gonna go then. Nope, I'm leaving now. You had your chance. I said hello. You didn't answer. Make a squishy noise when I step on him. Stay still. Okay. Okay. Now turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley! Off station. A ship. There's no ships here! There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. Hi, Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? Place on the ship. I don't murder you. That's what's in it for you. I know I can trust you. You don't. I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. No, it's not. Not by a long shot. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex pile. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble here. Okay? Was that you following me back there? I had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. <laughs> Can't hide your stuff. Oh. God damn it. Inquisitive type, eh? A little bit. Stick close to me. Ah, right, people! Don't move! People! Uh, oh, ah. Okay, okay, we're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. They're just some assholes. Oh, gosh, we haven't got time for this. Come on, Jenna. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jenna, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Fuck you. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Seriously. Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. Somehow I doubt that, but okay. 
that this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Oh, boink! Clunk. Don't murder me while I'm saving my game, please. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. It's two buttons, and we only have to press one of them. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. Oh, you're the, you just have to open the elevator. I have to do everything else. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kill back, braid each other's hair, and chant all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on. Right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. Yeah, that about sums that up. Oh, damn it, it's scrap. I'm maxed out on scrap. I can't do anything with it until I get another blueprint. Why are we stopping? Hmm. Voices. Shit. We need to move. This way. Get down. This I am bullshit. down, you retard. You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how no, you're long? Not. What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. You should be nervous. There's an alien hunting you. It's your idea, not mine. Trouble. We'll have to go random. Follow me. That's what I've been doing, Axel. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers. Even nice guys like me. Yeah, sure. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. No. Oh, I see another one. Bet y'all can guess what I'm about to do. Get the fuck out of the way, Axel. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. Flashlight batteries. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. I will. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Just be careful not to flash it around. You don't want to get caught. Reload batteries into the flashlight and save the game. Save the game. Saving it every time I see one of these. Let's go. Before we go, take that. Shut off the shitty music. It's still playing. What in? Oh. This way. Oh. Fuck off, Axel. All right. Get the fuck out of the way. Axel. What now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. You marked the vent in a dark room. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. How about you suck my left chesticle? Axel, is this it? Hold on. I'm coming. Kind of a stupid question, Ripley. It's the only one in here. It's got a big red ring around it. I knew it was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. No, you don't. No, you really don't. Come on.
Get your bald ass moving. It's not smart to stay here too long. I am well aware of that. Is the way everyone travels around here? Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. Torrens, so that's your ship, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Quiet. I hear something. Yeah, it's your fucking footsteps. Yes, yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. Feels like we're standing around waiting to die. You are standing around Follow waiting me. to die. Clunk. Okay, go be quiet here. Don't shine that flashlight. I haven't had it on since we got into the vent, stupid. Hold up. What's the emergency? People. Someone else has been here. Everyone, quiet. stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. Too many of them to take on. Take on? We still got to get through there. The door at the end. How? Let's try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Great. Which one of you checked our supplies last? I did. That one. What's up? He did. You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Gavin. Yeah. What about the Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. Sealed by About me. that. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? Give him a little time to move away towards the Jenny. Who's there? Come out! Doesn't seem to be broken. How would you know, Einstein? If the generator had blown, there'd be smoke. Well, it's not working now. Maybe the safety got tripped. Nice work, Could've been a road. This way. Stuck. Let's keep it down. They're still close by. Follow me. I know what to do, Axel. Give me that. Huh, I can make another one. I have so many medkits. How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. She said she could stay in transit Sebastian, for 24 not quite hours. What you're expecting, eh? I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a Blind week ago. Eye. Well, this is talking about the door. They were doing okay. Oh, yes. I'll take that, please. Thank you. Look, don't turn around and look at me. Just go. It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. 
Okie doke, here we go. Open the door and get the fuck out of here. Get the cogs. Ready. On three. One, two, three. Push. Axel! Hey, there's somebody coming up behind you, dude. Uh, uh. Son of a bitch. You bums think you can take what you want? Get the fuck off me! Beat you with my thing. Well, that was wholeheartedly unnecessary. Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastards! Move it! Shoot him! Shit. No, don't dead. do that. They killed him. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? I hear something. I hear something. I hear a lot of things, Axel. Axel? What have I got on me? Bye, Axel. Well, we're not going to stick around and find out. We're going to leave. I keep moving. Push that button. We're going to hide in this corner. While we wait for it to show up. Getting really up there now. Okay now. And leave it. Bye bye. And we are alone again. It is at this spot I would like to point out. Axel had a pair of dog tags. Indicating that at some point in his life, he was a soldier. Doesn't bode well for us. Technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Okay. Sebastopol Transit System is reporting a good service. Okay. So now, we're gonna go to comms. See if we can contact the Torrents.